There was a bill passed that earlier this year and it made the personal and philosophical exemption from MMR, the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine not available anymore for school and child care entry. The immunization laws say that there are certain immunizations that are required to attend school or child care in this state and you have to have those those immunizations or a valid exemption on file before you start school. The reason we have this law is to try to make our school environment safe and families do have a lot of choices. They can either give us a proof that the student was immunized, they can give us proof that the student is in process of being immunized. Well, we have 28 school-based health centers in Seattle Public Schools where any student up to age 19 can get vaccinated for no charge. They can give us a lab report that shows that the child is immune and doesn't need the vaccine, or they can sign, give us a signed certificate of exemption that claims a medical, religious, or personal reason for not wanting the vaccine, and we'll accept any of those four choices. For the measles vaccine, families can no longer use the personal exemption, but they can still use religious or medical exemption for MMR. We need to have updated immunization records for all of our students so that we can respond in a timely way if we have a health emergency such as whooping cough or the measles. And we've seen that in recent years with um, two measles outbreaks this year. We had a mumps outbreak a few years ago. A little before that we had a whooping cough outbreak. And we're trying to prevent that. We're trying to be proactive. Students who do not have updated immunization records, including certificates of exemption completed by January 8th, will be excluded from school. We don't want students to miss any school, so it's important to update your child's records as soon as possible if you've received a text, email, letter, or phone call from the school or district. If families have any questions about their child's immunization status and records, please contact your health care provider or speak to the school nurse. Families can also register for access to the Washington State Immunization Information System by going to wa.myir.net forward slash new register forward slash to forward slash where you can view your child's immunization records.